Welcome back to Presenter Media. My name is Kara. Today we'll be getting started with Keynote, downloading a template, a clip art item, and an animation to insert into the Keynote application available on Mac. We will also be showing you how to make the animated item loop through the Keynote. The first step is to download one of our templates available in Keynote. In our case, we'll be using Road to Success. One of the interesting features about Keynote is that it will automatically open those downloads as soon as they're completed. So here we have the original template now downloaded to Keynote. We're going to go ahead and play through just to make sure that the animations are appearing appropriately for the template. Alright, perfect. So we are going to only work in those first four slides of our template today to be able to show you what to do for inserting our clip art and animations. There are multiple ways to insert them, but what I'll be showing you today is, for me at least, one of the easier ways to be able to insert them. Let's go ahead and search what we have under our road category here. Let's use our construction worker carrying the cones. We'll download the medium size image. It downloads as a PNG file. And you'll notice that it has a gray background. This is indicating that it will have a transparent background when we insert it into our Keynote file. Now here's the interesting part. If you click on the Show and Finder from your downloads, and then you just click and drag from that file, you'll see that the item automatically inserts into Keynote. It already has its transparent background. And now we have our clip art inserted into this particular slide. The slide that we'll insert our animated item into will be the alternate title page. So we'll go back to our website now. And in this case, we're going to use one of our animated items that actually work with our road theme as well. Let's go ahead and grab our success that's hanging around. For Keynote, make sure that you download the QuickTime file. If you mouse over the question mark next to the word QuickTime, it does say that this is the best quality for Keynote. And then you want the clear background. If you want to have a different color background, that's perfectly all right. But for us, we'll be using clear just to be able to show how to insert a transparent animation. So here we have our preview. Make sure that it is playing appropriately. Now that he's been downloaded, it'll be right there in our downloads hanging around. We're going to open that in the finder and we're going to repeat the same process as what we did for the clip art. Click and drag and there he is. Now something that you do want to keep in mind is that this is only set to have one loop. So when we play this, you're going to see one quick loop and then it's done. So if you want to have the image loop, what we need to do now is open up the inspector the inspector for QuickTime is going to be the very last option out of all of the panes. And then you have your repeat. Click on loop. This will make the image repeat. So there we go. We have it playing multiple times. And now let's go ahead and play our presentation one more time to make sure that everything is working appropriately. Alright, we do have all of our items inserted appropriately and we can see that they are all showing up how they should. If you have any additional questions about Keynote, feel free to email us through our website, support at presentermedia.com. Again, my name is Kara and this has been Getting Started with Keynote. Thanks for watching.